Every year, the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries Shark Research Program receives reports of white sharks in our coastal waters. Although confirmed sightings of white sharks are on the rise, the majority of these reports turn out to be cases of mistaken identity. The main culprit in these misidentifications is the basking shark. The white shark and basking shark share many common characteristics. Besides the fact they can both be found in Massachusetts waters at the same time of year, they also share a very similar shape and overall appearance. Given these similarities, it is easy to see how they can be confused. However, there are some key features that can help differentiate the two species. The shape of the dorsal fin is one way to tell the two species apart. Since most people only ever get to catch a glimpse of the dorsal fin, it's the best place to start. The basking shark has a large triangular shaped dorsal fin that is gray or brownish in color. Although it has a triangular appearance, it is actually slightly rounded at the apex. The white shark also has a large triangular dorsal fin that can appear black, gray, or brownish in color, but unlike the basking shark, its dorsal fin comes to a point at the apex. If you get a good view of the shark's body, other characteristics to look for are the color pattern and the size and shape of the gill slits. Basking sharks have a fairly uniform body color, sometimes with mottled patches on their backs. Their gill slits are very large and almost wrap completely around their heads. White sharks have a distinct two-tone body color with a very white underside. Their gill slits, although large, are confined to the sides of their heads and may not be noticeable at all. Being able to identify these two species is important, not only because both species are protected in both state and federal waters, but also for the safety implications. While the plankton feeding basking shark is essentially harmless unless it swims into you, the predatory white shark often feeds on marine mammals. With the growing number of gray seals in Massachusetts and their proximity to areas used by humans, there is some reason for concern. Although the risk of shark attack is extremely low, it is wise to use common sense and avoid swimming in areas frequented by seals. If you have any questions about sharks, or if you would like to report a sighting, please contact Dr. Greg Scomo or John Chisholm at the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries Shark Research Program.